In terms of the four laws of thermodynamics, I think to a particle physicist, actually, the conservation of energy is the most important one. If energy wasn't conserved, we'd have no predictive power whatsoever. To actually come up with equations of motion which describe a system, any system, like I'm talking throwing a ball through the air, a pendulum, a car rolling down the street, you have to assume that certain quantities are conserved. The wonderful thing is we can build up from such a basic concept like that, something as simple as saying, look, energy is conserved, energy in, energy out. In a particle physics collision, when we take two beams, collide them together, everything flies out, mess happens, and we've created all these new particles. Some of those particles we can't detect in the particle detectors. So things like um, neutrinos, for example, they have almost zero mass. They really don't interact much. And so when we add up all the pieces of the collision and say, OK, did this collision start with Higgs boson and then decay to all these other products? If we add up all the products of the collision but one is missing, then we go, if we know that energy is conserved, then we can check what that missing product was. It's actually a method that's used in particle physics analysis is to use the sort of missing momentum method. And if you know the decay that you're looking for, then you can say, OK, I've measured these three things, I've measured those two things, I've got a missing momentum which corresponds to my neutrino. You, you can infer where it came from. If energy wasn't conserved, the answer would be different every time. We'd have no predictive power whatsoever of how things work in, in the world.